And now it's back to our tooltip, where we show you how to build this handy breakfast tray using Tassie Oak, shelf framing and these tools. Start by setting the saw stop to 430mm and cut 13 lengths of the 8x8mm Tasmanian oak. OK, that's all of the big ones. Now I'm going to reset the saw stop for the smaller pieces and uh, cut those. There's uh, 26 of those too. Then reset the saw stop to 200mm and cut 26 pieces for the fold out legs. OK, that's all of the small pieces cut, or leg pieces. Uh, now I'm just going to round the rough edges off with a bit of sandpaper and then we've got a lot of holes to drill. Once the rough edges are gone, mark a pencil guideline at roughly 8mm from the end. Then drill each of the small pieces, keeping the drill as square as possible. Rounding off the corners ensures they don't catch on the hinged legs. Well, if you're anything like me, you'll have a lot of these hanging in the wardrobe with nothing on them. So, a very good use for coat hangers. We're going to actually use two of these for the nice bit of straight wire that runs along the bottom. We're going to cut that and that goes all the way through the uh, tray frame. So, here we go. OK, well there's lots of little pieces and uh, we're going to thread them on the wire so obviously it goes through the holes and we create a basket weave type pattern at both ends with the legs and you make a hinge so they fold out. So just be patient, take your time. Then thread the longer pieces and the shorter pieces to form the base and legs of the tray. Repeat this at the other end and it starts to take shape. OK, that's the last of the leg pieces on. Now we have to glue the supports on either side. It's really important when you do that that you don't tighten the edges too much, otherwise it locks in and the legs won't open out. Also, you have to use a fair amount of glue, so this comes in very handy to stop the bits you don't want to stick from getting glue on it. The kitchen wrap acts as a barrier and prevents the hinged legs from being glued to the tray base. Fold the legs into position, add the aliphatic glue, measure and cut the shelf moulding that frames our tray. The shelf framing is great, it's rebated and saves a lot of work. Then use the corner clamp to hold the framing in position while you drill the holes. In drilling close to the end of the frame, it's important to countersink to avoid splitting the wood. Then glue two of the corners and screw into position. Repeat the drilling process on the other end and countersink, but don't glue this one yet. Now that the glue is dry on the base and leg assembly, you can mark the position of the wire locator holes. Drill using a bit the same size as the coat hanger wire. You can then ease it into position and screw the frame together. Measure and cut the two stops for each end of the tray. Pre-nailing makes them easier to fit. Add some glue. And then finish nailing them into position. OK, the end stops are going to uh, stop it from opening too far. Get rid of the glad wrap. and. Uh, then the acid test. There you go, the perfect Mother's Day tray. All we have to do is wait for breakfast. Mm -hmm.